Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Landon's Kitchen. We're doing the, the hot sauce series here. I'm getting this pan heated up. And what we're going to do is get me a spatula her. It looks like my dad's got both my spatulas again. Okay, so we've got three cloves of garlic chopped up here that we're going to fry. And then it said like eight large peppers, either habaneros or they said heart peppers is what they used. So I got these uh, habanero pieces here that are all dehydrated. So they're probably not going to fry up real well. I think they used fresh peppers, but eh, we're going to throw a good bit of jalapenos in there too. I think my dad got some other ones in there with him. Okay. Ooh, those smell pretty hot. Okay, my ginger. It's my my awesome pan, Peter Pan, that my sister Annabella got me. I call him Peter Pan because I keep him with me at all times. And if anyone messes with me, he'll send them to Never Never Land. Oh, there's my paper. So we got three cloves of garlic in there and our peppers. They say you can use whatever peppers you want. Do it up for your taste. You can get them going here for about five minutes. We're just going to kind of roast it around. Give it kind of a smoky flavor with the roasted up peppers. If you smash them up and stuff, press on them. You get more flavor out of them. We got our... Uh, Freaking blender set up again, ready to go, my, my ninja. And uh, garlic's just sticking to the thing. Smells really good. Oh <coughs> man, <coughs> that garlic's powerful. <coughs> but, yeah, we're going to give that a few minutes to do up here. Then we're going to put the rest of our stuff in here. I'll list it all off for you and how much. I'm using my dad's kitchen right now. i got to get... My house is uh, pretty hot most of the time, so... I have to... <coughs> 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 yeah. I'm going to open the window some. With this fan, but I don't think it really sucks anywhere. You don't have a vent, he just has it plumbed in there. Okay, things are getting pretty fried up here, I'd say. We'll turn this heat down to medium. You just kind of get a little black on the peppers and stuff, and it just makes that add a little flavor to it. It's kind of, kind of smoky. Okay. Now we're going to add the rest of our stuff to it. Let's see. We're going to start with the water. <coughs> oh man, hard to <coughs> breathe in here. <coughs> you might want to have a good exhaust fan. I should have done this in my house, but I do have an exhaust fan. we got a, a half cup water in there. Now we're going to put a cup and a quarter of apple cider vinegar in here. Mm-hmm. I need a bigger pan. And a quarter cup of lime juice. Okay, now what we're going to add for our other flavor. This is a yummy one. i got two mangoes. <laughs> oh, man, the vinegar smell. Oh, man. Whew. Making hot sauce dangerous. <coughs> coughing up a lung so we're going to take between the ha habanero jalapeno and the vinegar and all that it's crazy we're going to take and put the five kiwis two mangoes in there i already peeled them out the other day got them all ready for this 
now there's liquid in there it's getting better okay then we're gonna put in uh, two, two tablespoons barely get by the pan two tablespoons of brown sugar next one I might do outside with my little burner okay we'll put about two tablespoons we're gonna make big tablespoons I like brown sugar and then we're gonna do Teaspoon of ginger. Oh man. <coughs> Gotta get away from that pan. Sorry guys. I'm trying to kill myself in here with the fumes. Okay. I'm gonna get about a teaspoon in here of ginger. Add some flavor there. Might need a respirator for making hot sauce. I'm gonna chop these up a little and just do it up. It says to do it for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little more. And do it for about eight minutes because we've been going for a minute here. Okay, I'm gonna chop this up. fit in here a little better everybody has the dinner of you said this was really good hot sauce <clears throat> so I'm just gonna let this get up to a, a little bit of a boil and then we're going to turn it down and just simmer it for a while. <clears throat> then we'll give it a couple minutes to cool. And I'll come back to you and we'll put it in a blender here. Okay, so we got this uh, simmered down. It simmered for a little over 10 minutes probably. Now we're letting it cool for a minute. Just a bit before we put it in the, the blender. And then we're going to puree it into a nice just liquid form maybe little little chunks in there so <coughs> let's see here still kind of hacking but it's uh kind of subsiding here <laughs> we'll uh probably get a big ladle deal here so we can scoop this in here without spilling it making a huge mess all over make sure you guys can get a good shot of my blender there okay yeah we're just gonna scoop this in here they boiled, boiled down real nice it was like coming clear out of the pan it cooked down good In here. Just want to at least get some because if there's too much and you go to pour it, it's going to be all over the stove top. I don't like cleaning that much, so I figured we'd try to do it the less messy way possible. Okay. Then when we get done, we're going to bring it back up to temp a little bit. It's pretty hot. We're gonna make sure it's still gonna simmer a little. Then we'll test the pH and get it ready to bottle. <coughs> okay. Put our lid on there. I think I got everything set up right here. Give her a good whipping. Like my recipe said about 38 ounces and yep we're just a hair under 40 there okay. 
These ninjas, I highly recommend them. They have the three series of blades in there. They do a really good job. This has a little single serve container. You can screw on the center and make your little shakes and stuff. Let her get choppy for a minute. Waiting, we have some elevator music. Let it all settle for a minute. Try to pulse it some more. Oh, I pushed the power. Definitely don't think you could use a pour spout with this one because <laughs> it's it's pretty chunky, chunky style. Okay, well, the lid's really on there. Oh, there we go. I think I had a little bit of a vacuum in there from the heat or something. Had to pop the little door to get it come off. Okay, now we're gonna turn this pan back up to about four on there. And twist our blender off there. Mmm, that looks good. It smells really good. <clears throat> a lot of time I just fill my blender up with water and then I put it back together and it'll kind of clean itself pretty well. Get all the crap out of there. Okay. So we're gonna bring her back up to bubbling a little. And then we're gonna <clears throat> do our pH test, see if we need to throw a little lime or something in there. And then we'll got a nice little bottle here for my friend Nico. So I'm gonna get this three pack box done up with three different sauces. I'm gonna send it to her and her kids. Her family can taste my hot sauce. <coughs> Good stuff. Turn it up a little more. It's just starting to bubble. Let's see how thick it is. Kind of a thick sauce. Mmm. Yeah, that's so fruity and spicy. It's yummy. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell all my cooking. Cause I do a pretty good job cooking. <clears throat> they say you want it up to about 190 degrees when you bottle it. And then it actually sanitizes the, the bottle and seals it. <clears throat> At the same time, we get our... Uh, Oh, there it is. My little packet of pH test strips here. <clears throat> Go over that again with y'all. <clears throat> Turning that up. You can get a little, a little bubble on here. <clears throat> okay. We're going to look at our little chart here. <clears throat> our reds and oranges here one two three four make sure you got that in, in picture there that's where we want it if it's if it's like the the light orange that's a little <coughs> too okay you were starting to go now it's starting to go all over the kitchen <laughs> little bubbles are coming up popping okay so we've got her getting hot so we're going to get our pH strip here and just grab this, peel the one off. Okay. And then you're going to going to dip it in here. And then you take your fingers, wipe the remainder away. Let it sit for a minute. Mmm, yummy. 
Mm -hmm. Walking up there. Just getting almost red. It's still a little a little too orange for my taste there. I want to make sure we're doing a safe project here. I'll show you. It's pretty, pretty light orange. Really didn't change the color of the strip too much. So what we're going to do, I don't like to overwhelm hot sauce with vinegar. We're going to take and put a bunch of lime juice in here and it'll thin it out some too. This stuff's pretty thick. <clears throat> that lime juice will help our pH a little there. Mm, I love the color of this. It's looking really good. Wow, that lime flavor is pretty overwhelming right now. <laughs> okay, so. Let me do one more. Yeah, I'd rather have a, a real lime taste to it than a nasty vinegar aftertaste. Then we'll use apple cider vinegar. It's not too bad. Okay. Go rub that off. Mmm. I'm liking what it's doing here. <clears throat> okay, so now we have the darker orange. It's moved up to between a three and a four, I'd say. So we should be good to good to bottle it now. So we're gonna get our thing I learned last time with my little funnel. Gotta hold it up a little. I'm gonna use my thing here this time. Whew, that lime smells good. I'm gonna use my thing here. My ladle. Last time I kind of spilled some. Put it in here. So we're gonna hold that up a little. Yeah, this is gonna be a challenging one to get in the bottle here. Very small funnel. Okay. I'd tap that. Uh, I know I'm not that funny. I think I am. Okay, so we're getting about done with the bottle. We're going up toward the next. So we're not going to put a whole lot in there. We don't want to overfill it. Got a piece of pepper in the bottom of my funnel there. And just about right. And we've got the little pepper. Just a tiny bit more. Okay, here we go. Now, we're going to put our little cap on there for Nico. Ta -da! Put it nice and tight. Then we're going to let that cool. I'm just going to put a one of these regular hot sauce stickers on there. We're going to put how hot it is. Put my name on there. All that good stuff. Turn that off. Then I'm going to get a container out and put the rest in. <clears throat> And this will be one yummy sauce. There you go. Another fine product from Landon's Kitchen. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you all next one. Please like, comment, subscribe.